Good day and greetings for the Great White North. My name is Prickly Pooh and welcome to day 309 of A Year of Change. Today, I am frustrated. So much. <laughs> um, I, we've run into these before. It's nothing major, it's not a big thing. But, um, I did my way in this morning. And overall, I, I, ha I when I recorded yesterday, I was thinking, you know what, I probably didn't make too much progress. Um, so I weighed myself today. I've still lost less than a pound. I've lost like 0.6 pounds, which is still fine. I'm like, okay, you know what? At least it's it's a loss. I'm okay. It's better than a plateau and better than, you know, gaining. Um, and I knew it was going to be a slow week because um, I had skipped a day on my treadmill. And But um, as I normally do, I end up taking a sneak peek last night, which I, uh, I'm just, it's part of my, not even part of my process, it's just part of my habit now. Or just like, eh, what's going to be tomorrow? Because I get sort of antsy. And I do it throughout the week as well, just to give myself an idea to, to my progress. And last night, um, I was three and a half pounds lighter than I am right now. So, that's why it's frustrating. Because I think, you know what, that's that's good. Then, it was before I had had supper, so I thought, oh, well, after I have that. And then, overnight and everything else, it's, it's going to be a little bit more. But, you know, overall, it should roughly be the same. So, I had regular supper and then water throughout the night and then three and a half pounds later through 12 hours later here i am three and a half pounds heavier so um that's the frustrating part and in my head the first thing i thought of was i didn't really have anything like that i didn't eat four pounds of food i know that um i did drink a ton of water and then in my head i think well maybe it's water and i got that far i was like shut up <laughs> that's something that we say to make ourselves feel good that we haven't lost weight and although it might be true, I don't want to start getting on that little bandwagon and say, oh, well, it's just it's water weight. It's perfectly fine. I can have whatever I want. So a little bit frustrating, but I'll do another sneak peek tonight. And if it's a uh, chance is going to be lower than it is right now, which is going to confuse the fuck out of me. But anyway, still made progress. So not too, too bad. Not going as fast as I would like because I really kind of I've got seven weeks left now where I want to lose at this point. Uh, buh. Uh, at 18 pounds, roughly, in seven weeks, which is a little accelerated from what we've been doing, um, but it's doable. As long as I stay on track, I think it's just going to be, like, just barely not going to hit it, which will be even more frustrating. But um, I just sort of wanted to share that because that was, that was my morning so far. But um, this weekend, or this week, I should say, because we're starting another week, we start Starting today, we have seven weeks left, and that's it. We have less than two months left in this year, which is, uh, I don't know. It feels weird, because it feels like it's sort of coming to an end, but not really. It feels like we're coming up to a deadline, and I don't feel like we really met anything, um, which is kind of strange. But um, over the, it's been a couple of weeks since we actually sort of upgraded, I guess you would say, our exercise to moderate exercise. And I want to keep with that improvement. Now, it's only been two weeks. We are going to jump up to vigorous. The vigorous thing, I don't think we're actually ever going to get to that point and say, okay, now you have to do a vigorous exercise. You will get there eventually. It took a very, very, very long time for me to get there. But how we're going to get there is by starting off what we're doing today. Now, actually, before we get into this, I do want to say that um, we're the past couple of weeks we've been sort of looking at like adding a new exercise and sort of so broadening our repertoire, maybe is the right word for that. Um, and it's taking a little bit longer than I originally thought. Um, normally, I would do this beforehand and then say, well, here's what I found and here's what you can do and here's how long it's going to take. It's taking a very, very long time. The sit-up thing, I think, is probably something I'm going to be sticking with. Um, but there are some other things I want to do before that. <laughs> I've had some good advice um, stating, you know what, there are other things you can do to sort of help strengthen, sound all knowledgeable now, strengthen your core before you get into the sit-up thing. So I'm going to start looking at that, and because that's really where I want to start. Um, so I'm going to start doing that. So it may be a while, if ever, that we get to a point where you say, now is the week where we start adding stuff. Um, I think it's very important, though, that we continue to look for things that we can add in there, so that we aren't just doing one thing all the time. For some of us, it's fine. I mean, that's what I've been doing, but I found that although my cardiovascular health has improved, the rest of me is still just going to shit, and I'd kind of like to fix that. 
So I want to start with something that's very simple, very easy, and something that I don't have to go to a gym and spend you know hundred dollars a month on. But um, starting this week, um, we've had a couple of weeks where it's just been moderate exercise. So this week, our change is going to be a slight improvement. You don't have to get to a point where you're doubling the amount that you're doing or increasing you know the time by or actually this is the same thing. Um, doubling the weight if you're lifting weights, there we go. Save that one. Um, or you know go for twice as long as you were. But starting this week and every week afterwards, um, just like trying to find a new exercise to add into that, this should be a standing order that we do some improvement. And it doesn't matter what it is. If you go for a walk for 15 minutes and that's been your exercise, just make it 20. It doesn't matter how small the change is, as long as there's some change that's going to improve what you're already doing. And it could be something that doesn't feel very significant. It could be something that you think this isn't going to help at all. This is doing the exact same thing that I was doing before. But as long as it's something that you can look at and say, if I do this 20 times, then you know, then there will be a big difference between what I'm doing now and what I'm going to be doing then. So sort of use that to gauge because all you can really go by is walking. So for me, started just with very basic walking and then increase the speed a little bit, increase the time, and then like the next week I would increase the incline and then the speed and the time. They just little tiny changes here and there. And as long as it's something that you can look at and go, yeah, honestly, it is a bit of an improvement, even if you can't feel it doing anything. Um, if you're swimming, say that you do 10 laps and then you're done for the day, then do 11. Um, and then the next week, do 12. Then the week after that, do 13. Just those little improvements. If you lift weights, then, you know, add two pounds to it. If you're a weight lifty person thingy. I don't know how to actually do that. So <laughs> I know how to add weights to stuff. I'm just thinking if I'm on a machine, I don't even, I think they probably go in increments of five or something. Here we go. Reps. There's something I've heard people say that are healthy. Um, just do like one extra. Although people tend to go until they're exhausted, don't they? I don't know. I honestly don't know enough about weightlifting to say anything other than what I've seen in cartoons. And it seems like real, the real life, real world, the real life, the real world, it takes a bit longer to get muscles. So I'm going to leave that as is. Um, you'll know what to do. If you're a weightlifty person where you've sort of started in on that and you're getting more information and that's where your interest lies, you're going to know much better than I do what an improvement would be. Um, I guess the main point is, though, is to not... Yes, it is a lot, didn't I? The main point I'm trying to make is that you shouldn't have something that you're adding to it so that you're, it now feels like you're starting over again. When we first started doing exercise, it's very, very tough because we just aren't used to it. So whether you decide I'm going to start walking for 15 minutes, you know, or I'm going to start swimming or weightlifting or volleyball or baseball, whatever it is that you've decided to do... When we first started doing that, it was really tough. And chances are, if you haven't improved at that point, like if you haven't increased it or you know extended the time, then you're probably a little bit better at doing it and it's a little bit easier for you now. We don't want to go back to that point where it's just insanely difficult for us to start. And that's why when we do a small change like this, it needs to be something very, very small. Because if it's something that you're just going to double your time, um, you're going to make yourself you just feel like you haven't made any progress. It's going to be rough all over. And again, there's that risk of us just going, you know, I just, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to try something different or I just don't want to do it at all. And then it's going to fall by the wayside like everything else that we tend to do. So by making a tiny little change, even if you don't feel any different, um, if it's at least an improvement somehow, whether it's an incline on a treadmill or, you know, two extra laps around the pool or an extra five pounds on the weights or whatever it is that you've decided to do, then even though it's not something that's going to be physically daunting for you, it is an improvement. And as you keep adding those in there, the, you know, week by week, and it can be every week or every two weeks, whatever you decide to do, where, whenever you get to a point where you think, yeah, this is a good time for me to improve again. Again, you're going to be able to gauge that much better than I can. For me, I wanted to get to a point where, you know, each week I was doing at least a little bit of something to improve it. Um, and even now with my treadmill, I'm still, I'm adding time so that I'm jogging longer and longer because my goal at the end is to be able to actually jog a complete 5k, um, which right now is still a long way away. 
because although I'm still doing it on my treadmill, it evens out to like seven and a half or eight kilometers or something. Seven and a half, I think. Um, it's the time itself. I'm still only really jogging for six or seven minutes at a time. It's not a huge, huge leap. You know, I'm not going, okay, well, then I need to jog for 10 and then 15. I'm still just doing one minute at a time. But as things progress, you know, if I keep this up and keep the increment in between them okay, then it's going to get to a point where eventually I'll be able to run for an hour. But that's still 53 minutes away. 52 starting this week, I think. No, 53. Because so I've been doing, been doing six minutes this week or seven? I've been doing six. So seven minutes this week. So um, that's another, even if I did that once a week, that's still a year away. Yes, it's another year. Probably won't do that. I'm probably going to bump it up again um, at some point. Um, I think once we, you get to like a 20 minute interval, then 20 minutes and then, you know, probably 30 minutes is not that far off. If you can jog for 20 minutes straight. You're probably okay to do like 25 and then 30 and we'll see. I might be completely wrong. I might start out and just be able to get to 20 and then 21 kicks my ass and I get a start back at 20 until I'm used to it again. And that's the thing too, that if you find that your improvement that you've done, that it's enough that you can feel it, it's enough that you can tell there is a little bit of a difference. Um, if you find that you need to stay on that for more than one week, then stay on it for more than one week. There were some improvements that I've done that I think, you know what, I'm going to do this for two weeks straight just so that I know I'm accustomed to it because usually by the end of the week, um, I'm okay. And chances are, if you've made a small enough change, then by the end of the week, you'll be accustomed to it again, depending on how often you're doing it. But if you're exercising two or three times a week, you know, it could take a couple of weeks before you actually get that as part of your routine and get get comfortable with it. And then, you know, as things progress, you're going to know when you need to. That came out weird. Didn't mean for it to. Um, you're going to know. There's a weird accent, does not it? You're, you're going to be able to detect when it's time to make that change. And... Again, if we keep them really, really small, it's not going to be something that we're going to want to avoid. It's not going to be something that you think, oh, I'm going to make a change next week. Well, I'll keep it going for the way it is for right now because I don't want to make that big leap again. But if, for example, you're doing you know, walking or a treadmill or something like that, that you say, okay, well, you know what? It's not bad. I'm going to add five minutes to my walk or I'm going to add half a degree to my incline. It's not enough that you're consciously going to be able to notice it. You might feel it a little bit the first few days, but by the end of the week or by the end of two weeks, then you're going to feel exactly the same way you did just before the improvement. And that's the key because at least that way, just like losing the weight, although I've only lost half a pound this week. Um, you know, even if I had only lost half a pound, you know, for every single week, this is now week 44, 44, 45, 45, 44, 40, 40, huh? Um, then that still would have been 80 pounds. So no, <laughs> would have been 20 pounds half a pound a week for 52 weeks there we go we're just ignore what i said before i can't do math even if you only lost half a pound a week over the course of a year that's still 25 pounds that you've lost so it's still a big big chunk of who we are and that we need to get rid of anyway so i mean lo we're looking at this long term anyway this has always been you know this is sort of a going on for a year but we've always known that this is going to be something that's going to continue on past that year that it's going to be a lifelong thing that we need to work on. And it may be a little bit different if you're not, you know, watching every day or if you decide, well, I'm going to skip this or this or this throughout the run of a week. But I think we're at a stage now where it's a little more difficult to just sort of give up and go back to the way that we were um, than it is for us just to continue on. Or even if we just stay where we are and maintain, we're still going to be healthier than we were, you know, a year ago by a long shot. Anyway. That's it. Not much of a change this week, just enough so that you can take a look at it and say, okay, this is a bit of an improvement. And even if it's something really minuscule, then, you know, at the end of two or three months, but if I do enough of these, then I'm going to see that there's a, a significant change. And that's the main thing. As long as you have that, that you can look at, that's a good guideline to go by. You don't have to take this in leaps and bounds. We can go step by step. We will get to where we need to be. But I'm going to leave this video here because yesterday's was insanely long and filled with barf stories. So I'm going to sort of cut this one a little bit short, give you guys a bit of a break. I do appreciate it. And it's still shit. It's still fairly long, isn't it? Sorry. But that was it. So anyway, um, uh, oh, there was, no, nope, I'm going to save that for tomorrow. Never mind. Um, I had a bit of a news story, but I'm going to do that tomorrow because I had a couple actually that I need to bring up. And 
other stuff again. Anyway, I'm babbling because I don't know how to stop this. So I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please poke the like button for me. And in the meantime, keep yourself warm and fuzzy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.